In this video, we will capture the start of a Bluetooth low energy connection between this Adafruit Blue Fruit acting as a peripheral, this phone acting as a controller, and for the capture hardware, we will use Teledyne LaCroix's Frontline X500 and the accompanying wireless protocol suite software. Now, when would you want to capture the start of a connection? Well, uh, it's normally when you can't and you have to debug the problem. To do that, we have to understand the elements of a successful Bluetooth low energy connection. Initiating a connection can be broken into two core steps. The first step is the peripheral, sending out repeated advertising packets with this command saying that it is available for a connection. In the second step, a device such as the phone receives one of those advertising packets and replies back, yes, I'd like to make a connection with this command. Now if we look at a little more detail, we can see that because Bluetooth Low Energy uses multiple frequencies to communicate, the advertisements will be set on three particular channels. So the peripheral will advertise on channel 37, it'll send out the same advertisement on channel 38, and it'll repeat it yet again on channel 39. Now, once it's sent on channel 39, it'll repeat the process and then send again on channel 37. So if the phone is listening at the, on the right channel at the right time, and let's say it picked up channel the advertisement that was sent out again on channel 37, it'll reply back on channel 37 requesting a connection. To set up the connection for the collection, we'll take our blue fruit and we'll connect it to the USB cable connected to our computer. This will provide both power and also allow us to program the device. We're going to take our X500 and we'll connect a USB-C cable to the host port and then we're going to connect power to the power port. So we connect the USB-C cable to the host port and then connect power. And we'll see that the power light is blue and so we'll press the button and it will turn green and then power and boot up. Now, we're going to have our phone on this side of the connection hardware. That way the X500 is between our peripheral and our controller for when we start the connection. Before we can capture the connection event, we need to program the blue fruit. And inside this Ubuntu virtual machine, I have the open source Arduino IDE installed and also Adafruit's libraries to support the blue fruit. I'm just using one of the example programs that they have. And if you scroll down to setup, and we'll give the blue fruit a distinctive name. So when we advertise, we can know that it's our device and we'll save the file and then upload it to the microcontroller. Now, if you're using a virtual machine for your development environment, make sure that you have the um, device connected to the virtual machine as I've highlighted down here. It's now uploaded the code, there were no errors, so we're ready to start our collection. We're now ready to capture the connection. To do that, we navigate to the Teledyne LaCroix folder, select the wireless protocol suite, and once it loads, we can see that it's detected, the X500, so we'll choose that. The X500 is a software-defined radio, and so there's a lot of different recording options available to us. So what we'll want to do is choose the uh, recording options available. And depending on our use case, we're primarily interested in just the 
Bluetooth low energy packets, but if we were wanting to debug the situation, we may want to select the spectrum to see if there's interference. So we choose OK, and we're not interested in the previously captured devices, so we will select Start Record, and then we will select the devices to start showing up and we'll select Start Analyze and we can see as these packets are collected that they're being displayed here. Now when I go to connect to the Bluefruit peripheral, once I've actually connected with the phone, we'll see that there are additional fields popping up and this is the data that's resulting after the connection. So we have the connection we can then stop analyze and stop record. We're interested in the blue fruit peripheral and then also the controller for the phone. And so we select those. We analyze that. The way to find the connection, there's a lot of different ways. One way is you could just select the advertising packets and scroll through here. What I like to do is I like to go to the message sequence and look for the connection ID which is at frame 2013 and then if I connect or click back on summary I can see that packet and we can also see that the packets channel is the same channel as the last channel for the advertiser and we can see the sequencing of the advertiser. There's a lot of different directions we could take this. We could look at debugging, we could look at the data that was captured after the connection, but those will be for future videos.